Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to improve our stereo light. Remember our stereo light we coded last time? We press the button puck, and after a certain amount of time the light was turning off. Okay, automatically. Like on a stairway, you press the button, walk through the stairway and the light is turning off automatically. Good. Now we want to adjust the time. Okay. Now I want to adjust the time a little bit. Uh, let's have a look at the code. Yeah? If we want to change the time, not 5 seconds, but maybe 10 seconds, we have to change it here in this Cobalt time constant we have used. Yeah? We are uploading. Yeah? And now we press the button. And now it takes 10 seconds simply. We even see it in the, in the uh, monitor. Yeah? We've coded in a way that we see counting down. Yeah? Now it took 10 seconds. Good. Yeah? But this is not convenient, right? This is for sure not convenient. Imagine you realize after a while, maybe it would be a little bit longer would be nice, yeah? or a little bit shorter would be sufficient. Yeah? Then you would need to recode your program. This is not nice. This is not nice. So what we're going to do is we will make the wait time adjustable. Yeah? And we are going to do it that way that we are distinguishing. We do not want to add extra input inputs there. Yeah? We will, if we make a short press, it shall work as before, wait in a certain amount of time. And if we make a longer, if we press and hold the button for, let's say, a second, uh, so it should be sufficient, then it should change to learn mode. And in learn mode, it should simply stay on until the button is pressed. Uh, and then this is the time the next wait time will be. Mm, I'm not sure if I have transported this correctly. However, I will simply show you. Okay? So I will now add a new compile time constant. Define learn time. And we said one second so it should be sufficient. Yeah? Ooh, I will save it under a new name. Save as. And now, nine stairway adjustable bug. Good. This was the program from last time. So let's see. K zero. Wait until the button is pressed. Alrighty. Okay. This is store the press time. This is sufficient. Case ten. Wait until the button is released. And now here. We have to change a little bit something, yeah? Because, okay, if the button is released within a certain time, we, it shall work as before. Yeah? I will also use a new static variable. I will again use an unsigned long, and this I will call wait time. Unsigned long should be sufficient, and initially, initially this should be this 10 seconds. Okay. And everywhere we have, we are using light time. Yeah, we are waiting here and here. We will change. We will wait for the wait time. Now it should work exactly as before. Yeah? The only thing I have done is I introduced this variable. Now it needs to be a variable because it should be variable. Okay, so in case number 10, wait for button release. Yeah? If the button is released, step number 20, all right, shall stay as it is. But else, if the button is still pressed, this means. Yeah? And now, if millis, the current amount of millis minus press time, is bigger than this learn time. This means the button was pressed and is still pressed longer than the learn time. 
then here and now. Now we are already a beneficial of this current step 20. We will switch to current step equals, I don't know, 13. 13 is always a good number. <laughs> 13. Yeah. Uh, here, K13. Break. Good. To indicate that we are in learn mode, we have entered learn mode, we will uh, make this. We'll print it for sure on the serial monitor print line. Okay, and we also want to have it somewhere here, so we will flash the LED. Okay, so we'll write digital, right? LED pin low. Huh? Then we we wait a little bit something. Yeah. We wait a little bit something, and then we will uh, we will turn on the LED again. We make it just blinking a little bit, okay? Two times should be sufficient. It will flash. Yeah? Good. And in case number 13, what are we doing? Yeah? Well, we are waiting for a button press. Yeah? No, we are waiting until the button is released. Right. We are waiting until the button is released. And then we are changing to step number 14. Okay, because right now I press the button, I did hold it, I hold it longer than one second, this will flash, yeah? then I release, need to release the button. So we're waiting until the button is released. Now we entered learn mode. Yeah? So we'll write this here. Yeah? Learn mode entered. Wait for button to be released. Okay, okay, okay. Then in case number 14, we are waiting until the, the button is pressed again. Okay. What shall happen then? Then I will switch to case number 30. This is good. Current step equals equals 30. Because then it's over. Huh? All right, here learn mode. Wait for button to be pressed. Okay. If the button is pressed, then we want to store the new wait time. Yeah? So the wait time shall be the current millis minus the initial pressing time. Okay. And on the serial monitor, I will also write this. Huh? 
Oh, is this right? New wait time. And then we make print line. Now we make a print still. Wait time. And then we make print line. Milliseconds. Okay. I think this should do the trick. So upload. Upload. Ah, uh, error opening COM8. I have to close this. Upload again. And now open the serial monitor. Press the button. Yeah. Okay. It is still waiting. This is good. Yeah. After 10 seconds, it should be it should turn off. So this is still working. Great. And now I press and hold the button. Ah, it flashed. Now I am in learn mode. Yeah. Learn mode entered. Okay. Now it will stay on simply. Yeah. It will simply stay on and after a certain amount of time where yeah, I think it is sufficient, I press the button again. New wait time, 17 seconds, 17 to 2 seconds. And now if I press the button, it waits in 17 to 2 seconds. Okay? Now, now I have this thing adjustable. <laughs> Great. I have this thing adjustable. What is actually very nice. So with one button, depending on how long I press it, I can adjust my light time. This thing here has one major disadvantage. This is if I press now reset here. Now I press reset, in it done, you see, uh, and I press it again. It is again only waiting 10 seconds. Whatever I have adjusted is gone. If I unplug it from the power source, if there's a power outage, it's gone. Yeah? Because we are using here this initial value. Here. Yeah? This is the initial value. So you can play around, adjust it, and after one down power outage, you have to adjust it again. This is not very convenient. This is why next videos I will show you how to store things permanently. There is a so-called flash prom on the on the our Arduino also, and we can utilize it. Next video we will discuss different type of storages and then we will see how we use the flash in our Arduino. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.